What's up guys, welcome back. So today, I'll be telling you guys my playoff predictions for the NFL. It's a little late, I'm trying to get this out as fast as I can. But um, we're going to start off with our first matchup. We have Baltimore versus Tennessee. Baltimore versus Tennessee. Baltimore being the 5 seed, Tennessee being the 4 seed. Baltimore's just been hot. I mean, their defense, their offense, their run defense, their run offense, their pass defense, their pass offense. Everything's been clicking for them. Um, with the Titans, their defense is the worst in the NFL. I'm telling you right now, defense, worst in the NFL. And I think for you guys to stop Lamar Jackson today, um, tomorrow, you guys, I mean, um, on Sunday, you guys are really, really going to need um, that run defense and that pass defense, which you guys are really lacking in. So I have Baltimore winning um, with a score of 32-26. So next game, we have the – we – okay, so next game is uh, we're going to go with ah, – um, th this game – I have to remember it. Uh, okay, this game – is the Colts versus the Bills. The Colts versus the Bills. I like the Colts. I like their chances, but I, I don't think they stand a chance. So um, here in this one, I'm going to be going with the Bills with the score of uh, 29 to 27. Close matchup. 29-27 Bills. Next matchup, it is the Steelers hosting the Browns. I like the Steelers' chances, but, uh, I mean, they, their record doesn't show how their actual team plays. Their, their team's been sucky. So, um, I'm going to be taking the Browns here. Not the high-scoring game. I'm going to have them winning of a score 24 to 7 to 24 to 20 is my final score prediction for that game. Okay, moving on, we have the NFC bracket where we're going to start off with Saints, Bears. It's obvious. Bears, I don't know how they even made it to the playoffs. They they lost their last game, made it into the playoffs. I think the Cardinals deserve to be there, but it's going to be the Saints. I have the Saints winning this game. Um, I have the Saints winning this game 33-24. to 24. Um, next game we have the, I believe it is the Seattle Seahawks versus the, um, St. Louis, I mean, um, Los Angeles Rams. Um, Los Angeles, I mean, th they might not even have Jared Goff, so, uh, I'm definitely going to be going with the Seahawks. Uh, Seahawks of a score, um, we're going to have Seahawks winning of a score 26 to 20 final score in that game okay next game we have washington and the bucks washington and the buccaneers i have a final um like washington like their defense is great they and um buccaneers might not even have mike evans and if we can blitz tom brady make him get out of the pocket we will have a legit chance to win and i'm going for the upset i do think washington will be making the upset Washington will be winning this game of a score of 23 to 21, a very close matchup. 23-21, final score in that game. Okay, now that we're done with all of those matchups, we are going into the next round, which means the lowest seed is going to be facing the one seed that advanced. Browns versus the Chiefs, Bills versus the Ravens. We have the Saints versus the Seahawks. And we have the Packers versus Washington. Packers versus Washington. Washington, your run ends here. You were underdog. You made it. You made it somewhat far, but uh, to be honest, Washington, I don't think you're making it any farther. I would like to see you guys in the Super Bowl. I'd like to see Alex Smith, the miracle, keep going. But no, Packers will be winning this game from a score of uh, thirty-seven to twenty-four. The final score in that game. Next game, we for the NFC, we have Saints, Seahawks. Seahawks doing amazing. Saints, Drew Brees lacking a bit. 
This is a very tough pick, but my gut's saying that DK Metcalf is at least going to get one touchdown, maybe even two touchdowns. Tyler Lockett's going to get a touchdown, and Moore's going to get a touchdown. It's going to be a great game for Wilson, a great game for Chris Carson. I'm going Seattle, final score of 23-17. to 17. Okay, now we have on to the AFC side. We got the Chiefs, we got the Browns. Browns, I don't think you guys can play against the Chiefs. Chiefs just are so explosive. I, even though their defense isn't the best, I don't think they're able to stand. I don't think the Browns are going to stand any chance. I think they're going to get completely demolished 37 to 13 is my final score <laughs> against the Chiefs. Okay, so the next game we have is Bills versus Ravens. I would like to see the Ravens go on. I would like to see them do better. But no, not going to happen. I have the Ravens losing to the Buffalo Bills, a final score, a final score of um, 19 to 23. Okay, so now we are at the AFC and NFC Conference Championship. With this, um, we are going to be trying to figure out who's making it to the Super Bowl, who's not. Okay, so we got the Legion of Boom, Seattle Seahawks, and the Green Bay Packers in the NFC Championship. By the way, I'm doing all this in my mind, so I just haven't memorized what I was doing. So, Seattle Seahawks, Green Bay Packers, I like both teams. I do think both these teams have legit chances to win the Super Bowl, but I, I, the Packers are hot. Devontae Adams, best wide receiver in the league. Um, Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, best duo in the league. The, and Aaron Jones is one of the best running backs this season. So, I mean, he's the, one of the best running backs in the, in the NFL right now. So, yes, I am going to be taking the Packers. The Packers will be winning a score. This is going to be a high-scoring game, and I'm going to be taking the Packers over the Seahawks, a score of 35, no, 38 to 35. Green Bay taking home the W. Next game, we got Chiefs and Bills. I like both teams. Two of these teams I like. But only one of them can advance to the Super Bowl. Chiefs defense, not the best. I honestly think that they stand no chance against Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, and Devin Singletary. So, to be honest, Patrick Mahomes is going to have a good game. Tyreek Hill is going to have a good game. But Buffalo is just going to outscore them, and their defense is better. So, that uh, I'm going Buffalo. A lot of people are saying, oh, the Chiefs are going to win again. Chiefs are going to repeat. No. Buffalo is moving on to the Super Bowl. Buffalo will be winning this game a score of 27 to 23. 27-23, final score in this game. And now we got the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 55. We have none other than the Green Bay Packers and the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Bills... I like them. I like the Green Bay Packers. They're both good teams, but only one of them can win. So who will that be? That will be decided by me. So I am deciding on defense is a key factor in my eyes and passing attack um, and passing defense. So um, if you look at it, Rodgers and Devontae Adams are insane. I think they're going to hook up for at least two touchdowns in the Super Bowl. But... Um, I, I just I just don't like their I just don't like it. I, I don't see their chances. I don't see that they are going to um win the game. Buffalo, Josh Allen's playing great. Him and Stephon Diggs are gonna connect a lot. Devin Singletary is gonna get a rushing touchdown. I have Buffalo winning the Super Bowl, not other than a score of seventeen. Seventeen um, Green Bay having 17 points and Buffalo having 24 points. That is my final Super Bowl prediction. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This was so much fun to make. I love doing playoff predictions. Tell me if I should do, um, if I should do a reaction to the Super Bowl or should I do, well, tell me a video I should make. But yeah, I'm going to hurry up and get this uploaded for the playoffs tomorrow. I really hope you guys enjoyed and, um, uh, hopefully my predictions come right 
Buffalo wins the Super Bowl because that's what I want. Peace out. Subscribe. See you later.